Gen Z childhood crushes. If you were born in Gen Z, well, I'm sure you can heavily, heavily relate to this video. Because, well, we had the same media, the same celebrities were popping. We basically had the same pop culture growing up. Like, this is gonna be one of the most relatable videos on the channel. So, I don't even know where the hell to start. So, back in the day, I used to watch this show called Sesame Street. Okay, no, I was not catching feelings at three years old, I promise. But my very first crush happened when I was eight years old. You know what happened? I was introduced to Pokemon. And there was this guy, and his name was Brock. Oh, shit. Okay, I was not swinging that way, I promise. But Brock, this dude, he was a simp. And whenever Nurse Joy or Officer Jenny would pull up to the scene, this motherfucker would get on his hands and knees. And this motherfucker would beg them to marry him. And I was right there with- Okay, no, I wasn't. But once I saw Officer Jenny, I knew I was fucking straight from that day forward. And I was mad because they had such little screen time. Like, instead, you have to deal with fucking Dawn chatting the entire time. Like, I wanted a show revolved around Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny. I was really coming up with some crazy plot line to see my childhood crush on screen for more time. Yeah, I was an interesting eight-year-old. And that wasn't it for Pokemon. What y'all know about Professor Ivy? Now, for this one, I didn't even have to think about it. I fell in love in like a split second. And if you thought the other two were worse, this one was even worse. My Metapod used Harden for the first time ever. Only real ones will get that joke. And there were more. Don't worry, because I watched Adventure Time too. Marceline! Which uh, might be responsible as to why I got a little bit, a little bit of a goth fever. Just a tad bit. Not this goth, but this goth. Yeah, yeah I guess that's where it all stemmed from. Eight-year-old me watching Adventure Time. And she was far more chill than Princess Bubblegum. She had a stick up her ass 24-7. And every time Finn went to the Candy Kingdom, I just turned off the TV. I did not want to deal with Princess Bubblegum. Bubblegum is just a professional yapper. She just loves yapping about nothing. And I just get a whole lot of main character energy from Bubblegum. Then I started watching a little little bit of Nickelodeon, just a tad bit. And my friend introduced me to the show called Barely Odd Parents. And you know, I started watching the show, binging it a little bit. And then I laid eyes on Timmy's mom. Now I know Timmy's mom and dad sounded like absolute NPC robots, but still that didn't phase me, bro. I know Timmy's, especially Timmy's dad. Dingleberg. This dude was definitely made in a fucking laboratory. And speaking of mom crushes, this wouldn't be a childhood crushes video without this next one. This is incredible. If she was single, I would have stepped up as the father type shit. I would have stepped up as a dad taking full due diligence and responsibility of two children at the age of nine years old. Trust me, I would have locked in. I would have done it for Mrs. Incredible. I was willing to take that responsibility to become Mr. Incredible. And plus, I would have been in a family full of superpowers. That would have been fire as hell. Mrs. Incredible was definitely towards the top of my list. We'll say that. Like, if you are a straight male and didn't have a crush on Mrs. Incredible when you were a kid, who even are you, bro? You're a bot, bro. You go beep, boop, bop. Like, you can't have human emotions and feelings if you did it. Okay, I'm just kidding. But seriously, how? Like, seriously, type up a fucking essay in the comments of how you didn't. Total drama. Where do I even start? I had a whole fucking laundry list of crushes. It was not just one in the show. It was like fucking goddamn, you had Bridget over there, fucking Zoe, goddamn Gwen, Courtney, like, whole Holy f- I had a whole laundry list. Okay, I didn't have an actual list. I had a mental note. Fifth grader me couldn't choose. I was in the trenches for total drama, bro. It was nuts. But some of you may or may not have had a crush on Heather. Now, I cannot get behind this one. Because she was a bitch. I don't care about that one scene in the show. Like, shut the fuck up. She was a bitch and a snake. Like, I wasn't rocking with that. I just found Heather so annoying. Because she would just screw other people over to win. Or no, to lose. My bad. Because she lost lost to Owen, I think, in season one. But then in season three, she won, and it pissed me off. Like, none of the players even liked Heather either. Neither did the host himself. Chris fucking hated her. Just an absolute unlikable character. I don't know what goddamn little Timmy ass soul was crushing on Heather, because there would there should be none. I shouldn't see a single comment that said, well, when I was uh, seven years old, approximately, I actually did, in fact, have a crush on Heather. I wanted her to step on- Okay, no, too far, too- Seriously, though, I cannot get behind that. Teen Titans. Now, Teen Teen Titans Go was a massive downgrade from Teen Titans. I'm not talking about Teen Titans Go. That shit was ass, but the OG Teen Titans had Lil Bro fallen in love, especially with this one character, Blackfire. And he got Raven and then Starfire. Now, these characters seemed a lot more chill in Teen Titans in comparison to Teen Titans Go, especially Starfire. Like, it's like you gave them all a bunch of crack, like even Raven a little bit. They were just far more likable characters than Teen Titans. And now, I was in 
the fourth grade when I figured this out that Teen Titans would no longer be airing, and I was distraught, bro. Just fucking shot to the heart, bro. It was a tough pill to swallow. So I moved on from that, put on my big boy pants, and I finally got my first IRL crush. I was in the fourth grade. I don't know when y'all got your first elementary school crush, but I kept that shit a goddamn secret from everyone because I knew the ops were gonna snitch. Duck, do you have a crush on anyone? No. No one. No one had the pieces to the puzzle except me. I didn't want the girl to find out. Because if she did, I would have had my first awkward moment in elementary school. And the rest of the school year would have been awkward as hell. Now, I also had very, very many celebrity crushes. And uh, throughout the rest of my childhood, I also noticed everyone else had the same crushes. Like, every girl was fiending for Justin Bieber. Everyone had that Bieber fever. It was like everyone was standing Justin Bieber. Everyone had a goddamn poster of Justin Bieber. Bieber in their fucking locker. But if you did not have a crush on Ryan Reynolds, who are you? Because I do. Okay, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But the, the biggest one I remember was Justin Bieber. For goddamn Jacob Sartori. Bro was popping. I don't even. He made some ass music, bro. That show was garbage. So he lip synced songs instead and got famous. I just remember every girl simping for this dude. I guess bro just spawned in out of fucking nowhere. I don't know what the Jacob Sartorius hype train was all about. Some girls I like talked to in my school were, were just beaning over Justin Bieber. I remember they're like, oh my god, if you heard of Justin Bieber, blah, blah. the standing was crazy. And I'm like, who is that? And they went crazy. Like, you haven't heard of Justin Bieber? Oh, my God. Because me, I was so uncultured with celebrities, bro. If you said, do you know who this person is? I probably well, wouldn't sure. be able to He's answer that question. Program. Unless it was Britney Spears. Yup. If you were a real one, you would have a crush on Britney Spears. Whenever I heard her songs on the radio, my mom caught me doing my little shitty acapella in the car. Give me, give me more, give me, You like Britney Spears? More. And me, the dumbass, thinking that the world was gonna end if I said yes. I'm like, oh, no, no, I don't. No, 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 uh, her music's trash and she's, uh, she's ugly. I got <laughs> mad defensive for no reason. I don't know why I was hiding it like it was a bad thing. I got more singers. Trust, bro, I got a whole fucking arsenal. I know half the video was about my cartoon character crushes growing up, but man, I was a fucking celebrity guy. I ain't gonna hold you. We got Nicki Minaj. Now, when her song Anaconda was popping, I saw the music video. Now, if you haven't seen it, it's a whole lot of ass, literally. I don't know how I ended up seeing it. My best guess is my parents were shuffling music through YouTube. I was a big Anaconda fan back in the day so i tell them put on anaconda and they clicked the music video and they watch it for like a whole two seconds and they say duck what the f we're in a christian family household on a christian Everybody minecraft server are you already down bad at age 11 like what's going on buddy but yeah that, that was a pretty awkward moment but after seeing that music video oof, might have to add Nicki minaj to that list then i turned about 12 years old and the list kept expanding because now we got selena gomez you know what she says bro the heart wants what it wants and i wanted selena gomez it was like my dream or something when i saw that picture of her on music choice i was it was over i was in love it was true love, I promise. Yeah, my parents would have this thing on called Music Choice. It was like a music radio on TV. Obviously, yeah, it's a channel that would play music all day. And through this, I was introduced to many more singers. Like Ariana Grande, goddamn Camila Cabello, whoo, Dua Lipa. Like, yeah, the list goes on. I definitely had the most crushes on singers when I was growing up. Like, it was, it was bad. My singers list as I was growing up started to deteriorate a little bit. But there's still some on there, I go. I'm like eight minutes into recording realizing I could have made a whole video on celebrity crushes and we haven't even gotten to the actresses yet Margot Robbie this wouldn't be a celebrities crushes section without Margot Robbie when I watched Wolf of Wall Street recently a very family friendly movie by the way just letting you know okay no it's rated R but seriously when I saw Margot Robbie I'm like damn she bad but the first movie I saw with Margot Robbie in it was Suicide Squad and I don't care if the movie was mid because she was looking bad that is all that mattered to me like once once I, I realized the movie was gonna be ass I'm like you know what I'm, I'm just gonna enjoy the time with Margot Robbie I completely forgot about the plot and it was just I was just focused on Margot Robbie though and yeah those are my childhood crushes uh comment if you were in the same boat as me and for this lawnmower to shut the fuck up anyways uh if you I know you enjoyed that video click click the playlist right now do it do it hurry up